to the Mental Lecture Theatre. Uh, for those who've forgotten, uh, I'm Tim Benning. I met you on Monday a week ago, and I bet it seems a lifetime ago to the students who've been here at this high school. You've been having the time. Uh, it's pretty hard not to. So I'm Tim Benning. I'm the head of the School of Physics, and it's my great privilege to be the first person to use a microphone in this building and this room. It's a pretty exciting time for us. This is both a happy and a sad day because, as I think everybody now knows, Harry Messel sadly passed away yesterday morning. Um, he would have loved to be here. And this event was planned. And indeed, he wrote some words which were going to be read here and are going to be read here by Harry's grandson, Michael, who's here today. I'd also like to welcome Harry's daughter, Wendy, and several other members of Harry's family who are here and our condolences. We all thought that Harry would go on forever, um, but even Harry Messel had an end date. But he's still with us and his name is in this lecture theatre. And so what I'd like to do today is tell you a little bit about how we came to be here. Um, so of course, this land the university is built on is traditionally owned by the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, as you learned last week. And it's on their ancestral lands that this university is built. So we pay our respects to them. Before this building was here, there was another building here. It was called the Physics Annex. And it, it was really just a pretty horrible concrete box, but it was home to some of us, at least. And I'm told that Harry Metzl himself designed this thing. I don't know that he actually built it. Um, you could say that it was functional. That's probably the kindest thing you could say about the physics annex. And so some years ago now, more than five years ago, even six years ago, colleagues in the School of Physics, many of whom are in the audience today, got together and managed to raise funds and excitement for building a new building here. And that's the building we're in now, the building that is not even yet officially open. This is the Australian Institute for Nanoscale Science and Technology. The building itself is called the Sydney Nanoscience Hub. Okay, so there'll be a test on that later. So the annex was demolished, uh, sadly, years ago, and there it went. And in its place came some politicians with money hats and coats on. Those with good eyesight might recognise holding the shovel Kim Carr, who was once a minister in the uh, federal government and Gabriel Hudson, who's next to him in the state parliament. And they dug a very big hole, as you can see, and that hole has now been filled with concrete and with this magnificent building. So here we stand today, the Australian Institute for Nanoscale Science and Technology. That's the back of the building. You haven't seen that bit. There's a beautiful green roof on top of the clean room. Under, under that roof there will be the most amazing fabrication facilities for building nanoscale devices. And I believe David Riley's already talked to you a bit about that. Like this. So back to this room, the Metal Lecture Theatre, here it was a few months ago, just before it was completed. And this is the biggest lecture theatre physics has now available to it, 300 seats. And uh, we got permission from the university to name it after Harry Messel. And I think that's very fitting because Harry was a great teacher as well as a great raiser of funds and a great researcher and so on. So rather than me talk about Harry, I'm going to let Harry talk for himself. Chris has kindly put together a short video, it's only a couple of minutes, and Harry in this video is talking a little bit about the International Science School that you're participating in. I felt that there was so much emphasis in Australia on sport, and as there still is today. You just, just, just go and put on the, the television, and it's quite, quite incredible uh, on, on this. I love, I, I love sport too, but the emphasis was on sport. So if you were, did well in school, nobody, you wouldn't hear about it. So I felt it was very important for us to be able to gather the very best students originally throughout Australia, bring them together, have them lectured to by some of the most outstanding scientists in the world, Nobel laureates and others, in order to let them know that we feel they are important. They are the future movers and shakers in our society, that we think that they're important, that we wish to honor them, and to make them feel and realize that we know that they are important to the commu community. So this whole concept of honoring excellence amongst the students, and generally within Australia, was hatched at that time. In my 56 uh, years or 57 years uh, in, at the University of Sydney and at Bond University, I feel the thing which is, has the greatest impact internationally 
And from a long-term credit, a long-term point of view, is the International Science School. Well, I, I, I was a great believer in excellence. I, I just felt that the question education, uh, I believe then, and still believe now, of course, is the very basis of a, of a progressive society. And, uh, and I, I felt that the importance, it was great to educate everyone to the maximum of his or her ability. I'm a great believer of that. But it's very important indeed that those at the very top, the movers and shakers, be recognized and be, be encouraged. Quality. 
counting of one's life is directly proportional to one's commitment to excellence. Take this message with you. I will always be with you. Professor Harry Messon. Thank you.